Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got a defensive video for you today. Today I'm going to be going over uh, one of my favorite pass defenses when it comes to third and long, fourth and long, something like that. An obvious passing situation. This is going to be one of my go-to plays. I pretty much run uh, a lot of man this year. I mean, that's typically the way that I go. Uh, man cover two, man cover one is pretty much what I run 90% of the game. But when I get into uh, predictable passing situations, one of my favorite plays to run uh, is out of the dime one four six. If you watch my channel for a long time, if you're watching my gameplays, you've seen me run this play a thousand times. I really wanted to put this breakdown out in gameplay, uh, but due to time restraints, I'm really trying to finish uh, my ebooks. I'm about halfway done for the people that are asking for certain team ebooks. Uh, I just recently put out the Niners, the um, the the Broncos, and the Panthers all new this week. So that's why a lot of videos this week are really in practice mode. But I'll definitely try to have at least one uh, gameplay video for people that like gameplay videos, maybe tomorrow. Uh, but ultimately, hit the like button if you want to see that. Other than that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video. Uh, the cross three fires the play. Like I said, if you watch my channel for a long time, you've seen me run this play. I put out a video about it last year, maybe even the year before that. There's definitely some new wrinkles, though. This is something that you can actually make a pretty decent run defensive out of as well. I'll try to show that quick, and I might show a couple more plays in the scheme. Otherwise, they'll all be on my Patreon and in my Join Now button uh, community uh, if, if I don't put it out in the uh, YouTube version. So this defense right here, like I said, this is something I use quite a bit in uh, obvious passing situations. It's not something I would call necessarily a base defense uh, that you can use to stop the run, although I'll show you guys uh, a good way to set this up against people that could possibly run against it in a minute. Uh, but ultimately, this is something that I use in obvious passing situations. It's not something that you want to use all game. Uh, so obvious passing situations include things like second and long, third and long, fourth and long, um, you know, something like that. Uh, also, if it's uh, your opponent's down uh, late in the game, say they're down a touchdown or two, they got to pass. Uh, say they're, you know, say there's like 30 or 40 seconds before halftime, they got to pass a good length of the field. These are situations where you want to use this play. I also use this in the red zone a lot. If it's third and goal from like the eight or longer, I'll pull this play out because, like I said, it's not necessarily the best run defense, but if it's, it's if they have to pass, it's, it's almost impossible to pass against it. A lot of people really struggle against that. So all I'm really going to do when it comes to the adjustment is I'm going to hit uh, right on the right stick and then up to zone all. So that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead. Let's, like I said, I, a lot of times I can bring this guy down and user him. If I have somebody uh, in the, in the, in the, um, in the seam, like say I want to take away this tight end specifically, I can man that guy. Um, I can man the, uh, the wire out here. If, like I said, if I'm, if I'm thinking that we're going to have uh, a seam play that's something that i can do although typically like i said i'll i'll typically cover the same i'll typically worry about that myself because it's a cover three i'm typically going to use that and then this is pretty much the play so like i said the only thing that can really give this play issues uh, other than plays up the seam as we get a a, a nice uh, i want to call that a coverage sack because he was definitely taken off i'm going to see that a lot the computer is not necessarily going to make the mistake of throwing into these zones uh like a lot of uh, users will They'll probably be, he'll probably be running a lot of taking off. Here's the scenario. This is the look like I was saying. If I see a look like this, this is definitely one where that guy can go right up the seam. If he's uncovered like that, this is a play where I'm going to want to man somebody. So that's definitely a look right there where I would say, okay, we're going to man that guy. And then, like I said, uh, one of the main reasons that I like to run this defense is it really, left, it really frees me up because I have so many yellow zones. I'm typically free to take one of these guys and roam however I want to roam and try to find, uh, you know, try to find interceptions. That's basically the idea. It frees me up as a user defender because I don't really have a responsibility because of all these yellow zones. So, like I said, I'm going to man that guy up particularly, let him get taken away by that, and then, like I said, hopefully they don't run a lot until I make the run adjustments. But you can see right there, I mean, there was a crossing route there, and he's basically just chucking up. There's nothing really open. That's the point. This is going to be one of the harder defenses to pass against. So like I was saying, if I really want to take away uh, some run lanes, 
all I have to do is D-pad down, D-pad to the left and down, and then D-pad to the right and down, and you can see how it takes away those uh, those run lanes. Now I'm also still I'm still going to do the zone all adjustment. You can see the outside guys typically are the ones um, that become in, in this particular look become the drop zones, which is perfect. So this is pretty much if I want to make a run defense, if somebody's running the ball, I can even bring this guy in a little bit, like especially on a play like this, because if it's going to be a run, it's going to be an inside zone, uh, and we can really take away any run lanes. Like I said, this is kind of a small small defense uh, personnel wise, but you can really you know you can at least take away those gaps. So hopefully we'll get a couple of run looks. Uh, we run like this, and like I said, the first play we get a run, and we get a stop for about five yard loss. So you can see there's definitely opportunity there. So, like I said, I, this is something I find myself doing a lot, a lot more than last year, especially because, like I said, last year I didn't even think you can make that adjustment. Some of these defenses, like if you're using the dollar, you don't get this look. In the dollar, all you really get is like a pinch look, like this. If you if you if you try, uh, it doesn't give you the option on, on the on dollar defenses. But on this particular defense, the way that this is set up, it lets you do that. Uh, where you can where you can basically align this like this. So if you have a defense, if you're thinking, oh, I can use this play out of the dollar, you can, but you can't necessarily have this run look. That's the only thing. So here's another one. Once again, we have, um, you know, if I really want to set it up like a possible, like it's a possible run, this is going to be one of the best ways. You can see I have the, the alignment across the way uh, pretty much taken up. Uh, and then we can see we have a run. We're getting a lot of counter runs. And then he gets stripped up by his own lineman. But ultimately, a bunch of weird animations, but ultimately um, not a lot of area to run. So definitely, uh, definitely something that you can do. Like I said, this is not necessarily how I run all the time. A lot of times I'll leave those gaps. Uh, but you definitely have the option here uh, to make a pretty good run defense. We'll go ahead and run this a few more times. Like I said, there's really not a lot that I mean. The quarterback, like I said, he's really gonna he's gonna be throwing. He's gonna be chasing. He's gonna be running. He's there's nowhere to throw. The computer's not gonna make that mistake. A lot of users will though. So like I said right here, I mean this is a play. I mean ultimately, I guess the um, you could see something like uh, like uh, Cam Newton do a QB QB draw. Wouldn't surprise me, but on, a, on an empty backfield look, I, I definitely wouldn't uh, wouldn't make that adjustment for whatever reason. Humphrey didn't uh, come across here when I flipped it, but uh, but yeah, if it's if it's a possibility of a QB draw, I'm not necessarily going to make those adjustments. Uh, but this is what I was talking about when I said, you know, like I said, there's there's another seam guy. I want to take him away, so I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll, I'll I have that option. I can put him on a seam. Take that away. Anytime I have an uncovered receiver like that, you can see like the seam flat here, he's going to take care of the guy in front of him. This guy here is going to take care of the guy in front of him. But if I have an uncovered guy like like uh, the tight end here in the middle, I definitely want to put him on a man. That's the one time where I would make that adjustment because the seams are going to be wide open. This guy's definitely not going to get over in time either um, to take that away. So we're definitely going to run like that. So I also like to, I haven't guessed pass. That's something that you want to do too. Um, just to give your uh, give your, your your defense a little bit of a head start, um, and then see right there. Like I said, we're getting you know the, the coverage is good. We're we're definitely as we're gonna get a little bit of a pick six here. <laughs> the coverage is it, it, this is one of the reasons I run this defense. The coverage is tight. It, it's one of the few zones that I actually like to run. It's very successful. So I'm gonna go to my end the video there. If you guys want to see uh, more uh, defensive videos, more pass defensive videos, more uh, videos out of the Ravens playbook specifically, do me a favor. Let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Moist it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.